Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ, to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We are on the third Sunday of Lent. Our priest presider is the Reverend Father Mario Philip Sobrewanite of the Society of St. Paul. He is the Provincial Superior of the Society of St. Paul, Philippine Macau Province, and the Spiritual Director of our Acts Catholic Prayer Community. Please rise, let us join the Acts Music Minstrels in singing the entrance hymn. Bayan muling magtipon, awitan ang Panginoon, sabihin sa liwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. Bayan ating alalahanin, panahong tayo'y nalipin, ng alan niya Paanong di tayo ligapin? Bayan muling magtipon, awitan ang Panginoon. Sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas niya sa atin. Sa piging sariwain, pagliligtas we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Decalogue, the Ten Commandments, in the first reading, declares that the appropriate response to God's liberation is for the people to obey God's commandments as a charter of their freedom. In his zeal for God's house, Jesus cleanses the temple, reacting against a kind of worship lacking soul, a religion motivated mainly by the pursuit of material gain. He is the living, the living temple, through which we, we who believe have access to the Father. We serve God only with a loving heart. Sa mga pagkakataon ng ating pagdasal ay kulang sa pag-ibig sa isang Diyos na karapat-dapat sambahin, we now ask His forgiveness. on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Manalangin tayo. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our consciences may always be lifted up by your mercy. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord gave the Ten Commandments to Moses so that people might know that true worship consists of serving God with loving hearts. The first reading. 
A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, God delivered all these commandments. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the place of slavery. You shall not have other gods besides me. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not live unpunished, the one who takes his name in vain. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother, that you may have a long life in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male or female slave, nor his ox or ass, nor anything else that belongs to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. that it is in Jesus' cross that we learn the sublime wisdom of God. 
In his infinite knowledge and love, God gives us his Son to redeem us by his suffering. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called Jews and Greeks alike, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to give honor to the Holy Gospel. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Gospel is from John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip of, out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen, and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that Jesus had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are used to a Jesus that is tender, compassionate, willing to hug children, willing to touch the poor, go with the sinners, a God truly who is tender and loving. Kaya yung iksena sa araw na ito, kagulat-gulat. This is the only time in the whole of the four Gospels where we see not just an angry Jesus, a furious Jesus, but really incredibly so angry. We translate in Tagalog, nagwala siya. Talagang nagwala. And we ask ourselves, what is this? Pag naintindihan natin, we will truly appreciate the Gospel of today because it is one of the best messages about religion. 
Palagi na nating na-explain na ang katagang relihiyon o religion comes from the Latin word religare, to tie, to bind, to relate. Religion is more than anything else, a relationship. And Jesus tells us in the end, it is the relationship of us who are been made in the image and likeness of God as His creatures and He the Creator. Pero dinagdagan niya sa kanyang pagpunta, sinabi niya, mula ngayon, ang tawag niyo sa kanya, Abba, nang ibig sabihin, Papa, Daddy, Itay. As I call this God my Father, binibigay ko sa inyo ang karapatan na yan. At kung ganun ang relasyon, it cannot not be a relationship of love. Kaya yung katagang worship, ibig pa lang sabihin is, karapat dapat worship. That's the old English. Karapat dapat na sambahin, dapat lamang pasalamatan, dapat lamang purihin. Kasi ang kagandaan loob niya ay atin ang na-experience. Kaya you cannot speak of worship until you know how to love. Pakinggan ulit ha. Kung walang pag-ibig sa iyong pagsamba, hindi pagsamba yan. Anong kinakalaban at ikinagagalit ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito? Nakita niya ang isang sistema kung saan hindi na pag-ibig. Kung saan ang sistema ay bilihan na o sistema ng exclusive. Explain ko sa inyo, na-explain ko na tuminsan. Ang templo ng Jerusalem ay napakalaki. Decorated with the best of all things, with all jewels, with pinakamagandang mga kahoy. Pero immediately makita mo, exclusivity. Pagpasok mo sa unang napakalaking quadrangle, lahat na yan pwedeng pumasok. Hindi ka hudyo, okay lang. Pumasok ka, lalaki, babae, pwede yan. So all of those who come can enter that quadrangle. Pero hanggang doon lang ha. Kasi ang susunod na quadrangle na papasukan mo, exclusive na yan para sa mga hudyo. Kung hindi ka kasapi ng sambayanan na pinili ng Diyos, wala kang K na pumasok roon. Sa susunod, pwedeng pumasok ang mga hudyo, bawal ang mga babae, exclusive para sa mga lalaki. Sa susunod na quadrangle, exclusive mga lalaki, pero dapat katribo na Levi, so yung mga Levites o mga pari. Sa susunod noon, yung mga nagsiserve lamang directly sa simbahan at sa pinakadulo, the Holy of Holies, isa lang pwedeng pumasok diyan, the High Priest and only once a year. Yung sistema pa lamang na yon, yung iba'y dumarating doon na nakataas ano, kami may kay, ikaw wa. The sense of entitlement makes this God a God of only those who are privileged. Hindi gusto ni Lord John. I have come to be a savior of all nations. Kaya ang worship actually makes us to acknowledge na totoo wala kaming karapatan. Ang pagsamba sa Diyos ay hindi karapatan. Yung sagot sa pag-ibig. At di ba natutuwa tayo sa mga taong kahit na alam mong entitled, hindi namamayagpag sa kanilang entitlement. Ako naka-experience sobra recently lamang. Yung isang pari namin, si Father Gwen, ay na, naimbita sa malakihang affair na ginawa sa Manila, Manila Hotel. Ito pala'y yung mga sponsors na malalakihan ng mga kung sino-sinong personalities pumupunta para pag-usapan kung ano pang pwedeng ibigay. Katulad yan, ang isa sa mga project nila ay yung coffee ng East Timor. Napakasarap yun. Didevelop nila para ma-develop din yung bansa. Ganun ang mga ito. These are philanthropists of the highest order. Si Father Gwen na request, substitute sa isang pari na gumawa ng invocation prayer. Sabi nga niya, hindi nga ako handa, eh, ka, hindi ko akalain ganong kalaki. Buti na lang may dalas siya na pansuot pare, yun ang sinuot niya. At pagkatapos, itinabi siya doon sa presidential table, katabi ng isang hindi niya kilala. Nakita niya na medyo may eye infection itong katabi. Bumulong itong katabi. Father, I have a bit of a problem with the eye. Kung pwede, sana mag-request na makahanap ng 
isang ophthalmologist because it is really irritating me. Pero ayaw ko pong tumayo kasi mahalata na lahat kung saan ako pupunta. Katabi nung mamang ito, yung kanyang anak. Ang sabi ni Father, tamang-tama, si Father in charge ng mga may sakit namin at ang kanyang kapatid ay isang doktora. So kaagad, alam ni Father ang gagawin. So tumayo siya, I will try to find out, sir. Pumunta doon sa likod, organizers, yung iyong bisita. Kailangan ng ophthalmologist, may infection sa mata. Yung general na in charge dito sa mamang ito, nagtarantahan na sila. Inayos. Pumalik si Father, umupo. Sir, join me now. Excuse yourself, you're going to the restroom. Para disimulado, sasamahan ko po kayo. Sumama, andun silang lahat. Inayos ang mata niya, tinignan at ha. pagbalik, naupo sila. Sobrang grateful yung mama. That after some time na magtayuan na, hinatak si Father at nag-usap. Only for Father to understand, na yung kanyang kausap ay hindi ordinaryo. Totoo, walang monarchy ang Portugal. Tinanggal na ng gobyerno nila. Pero kung ibabalik nila, eto ang magiging hari. Sapagat sa linya ng pinakita ng mga kung ano-ano, nakita na he is the sole male heir of so long a line of nobles and kings. In fact, Hanggang sa ngayon, ang Portugal alam nila na pag may dumadating na mga nobles from all the European countries, ang hiharap nila ito, si Dom Pio, who is the Duke of Braganza, at ang kanyang katabing infante, ibig sabihin anak ng hari, who is Prin Prince Dines, Duke ng Porto. Narinig niyo yung wine ng Porto? O, oh, yun, siya ang Duke doon. So, nagpasalamat silang sobra, nag-exchange ng mga pangalan, etc., etc., The next morning, tumatakbo si Father Buen sa office of Father Urgent. Bakit? Father, may bisita tayong darating. Sino? Si ganito, Father, the Duke of Braganza, supposed to be the king, and his prince, the son, si Prince Dinis. An anong gagawin nila? Masta, Father, pupunta daw sila at bibisita. Anong oras? 12.30? Kainan yun. Ibig sabihin, umaasa silang kakain. Alas di siyang pumunta. Nagtarita ko, ano kakawin natin ngayon? Saan tayo kukuha ng mga pagkain sa mga yan? E sana yan sa mga kung ano-ano, mga folk fogra, mga kung ano. Diyos ko, biyernes, kapatid. Tumakbo ako sa kitchen. Anong nakahanda? Sarap. Munggo at tilapia. Sabi ko, Diyos ko, ano ba ito? Parusa ito. So sabi ko, ano gagawin natin? Eh, Father, check upin mo nga. Pundarating nga sila. Father, on the way na daw. Sabi ko, sandali, tingnan mo na natin, ginugol ko. Makakakumaskam tayo rito, baka hindi totoo. Eh sila talaga, andun ang mga pictures na naka long tail, ng mga kung ano-ano mga dekorasyon. They really are the real, genuine thing. So, sinabi ko sa gwardiya, antay nyo, kasi I was expecting na may haggard, may kung ano-ano gwardiya, mahaba ang pila ng mga sasakyan. Maniwala ka tumawag, guard father, nandiyan na po sila sa partner. Nauna pa sila, tumatakbo kami. Pagdating namin, we look at them. They were the most simply clad. Parang mga turista lang. Tinignan ko kung anong sasakyan ng dala, isang Mercedes-Benz and a driver. Nothing else. Why? Because he did not like any fuss. Pumunta kami, sinabi kong... Excuse po talaga, hindi po kami handa. Said, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So tinitignan ko yung pagkain. Kabi ko maghanap naman kayo na maayos-ayos na kubiertos. Nang umupo na kami, kapatid, kumuha sila ng salad, buti na lang may pumasok na pare, meron dalang tuna, kumuha sila ng tuna, may shrimps ng konti, at nag-serve naman ako ng monggo, tingnan ko lang. Maniwala ka, kumain ng monggo. Kumain ng tunang na andon. At ang kagulat-gulat, ang prinsipe, nagkamay para sa shrimps. Parang ordinaryo. Yun na nag-usap sa Deber, they spoke very good English. Mahalat tamo na sa kabila ng totoo ganun na damit. Ibang dating. There is a princely look. There is the look of the nobles. But boy, sobrang down to earth. Nag-enjoy kami sa aming usapan, etc. And then towards the end, alam ko sumesenyas na yung gwardiya sapagkat alas stress dapat may pupuntahan pa sila. And I told them, Sir, I know you are busy today. Your grace, 
Your, your grace ang tawag pala doon. No? Your royal grace. Ang sabi sa akin, No, 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 Father. It's okay. We have time. Hala, nag-enjoying kami. But they left that place and I was so impressed. Why? Ang may karapatang ma- ma- mag- ma- mag- ma- karapatang magbida. Nothing at all. And you realize that is what you call breed education. Taong alam mo sa harapan ng Diyos, they recognize that they are not that privileged. Ito yung number one na ayaw ni Lord. Napupunta ka roon at huy, huwag kayong tumabid yan kasi hindi yan para sa inyo. Bawal yun. Pangalawa, na alam natin na kung ikay magdadala ng pera at ibibigay mo kay Lord, pagpasok mo sa quadrangle ng mga lahat, pwede yun. Pagpasok mo sa quadrangle ng mga hudyo, may money changer na doon. Hindi tumatanggap si Lord ng pera na mga pagano. Palitan nyo ng pera ng Israel. Sabi ko, ba yan? Kasi yung pera ng mga pagano, impure yan. Si Lord tumatanggap lamang. Eh ka nga, kung naandito ka noon sa duty free, pag ikay paalis na gusto mong bumili at may pesos kang marami pang dala, hindi yung tatanggapin ng duty free, dolyar na ang pinag-uusapan doon. You know, somebody was so angry, a foreigner, You know what he did? Nang binabayad niya, kasi paalis na nga ako, eh, ang dami ko pang peso, gagamitin ko. Ayaw tanggapin, dolyar daw. Nang paakyat na siya sa aeroplano, siguro gagawin ko rin. O doon mamumulot mo na siyempre ako, no, kung anong itatapon. Pero ang point doon is, the exclusivity. Magdadala ka ngayon ng hayop, ang tayo ng tinakbo mo. Pagdating doon, inspeksyonin yung dab, yung ship mo, yung lamb na bibigay. Ang mga inspektor, naghanap buhay yun. Ay, ang pakpak nito medyo bali. Ay, ito medyo may pila. Ay, ito medyo kalbo ng konti. Hindi tatanggapin. Bawal yan. Hindi tatanggapin ni Lord yan. Pero may reserve kami dito. Perfect. Bilhin nyo. And the Lord said, Dinadaan ba ang favor ko sa bayaran ng bagay na material? Ako ba'y nababribe? Vendo machine ba ako na pag naghulo ka ng isang daan at pinindot mo kape, lalabas ang kape? Ngunit pag hindi lumabas ang kape, galit ka na. Pitatry mo again another 100 pesos, hindi pa rin lumabas ang kape. Ano gagawin? Tadyakan mo na yung vendo machine. Ganun ba ako? Hindi ba lahat ang pinag-uusapan ay pag-ibig? Kaya kung kayo nagpunta at handa kayo ng epera ninyong ibibigay, ngunit walang pag-ibig na siyang nagtutulak sa inyo na, Lord, ibinibigay ko to. Kaya para kay Lord, hindi, it's not the size of the Bible. It's not the length of the rosary. It's not the great statue that you have. It's not the money. It's the love that is inside. Pagkat ang pag-ibig ko at favor ko, hindi na ba-bribe. Lord, ha? Pagpapako na ako sa cross, malaki-laki na utang mo. Lord, ha, nagpahampas na ako sa prosesyon doon sa San Fernando. Kaya, Lord, ha, may utang ka na. Ano yun? Asa ng pag-ibig? This is not a contract. This is a relationship. And the most important is, not all of these na pambayad o pangbribe, but a heart that is willing to recognize God. A heart that is humble like this Duke of Braganza. A heart that says, lahat ng ito, Lord, ay sa iyo. And you deserve my love. And you deserve my worship. And you deserve my praise. Today, Jesus teaches us what religion is all about. Kung kayo naandito, alam ko yung iba sa inyo, nakakatuwa, no? Marami, every time after the mass, Father, galing pa kami sa ganito. Nagpunta kami, Father, galing pa kami sa ganito. Sana behind all of these that we do, there is this One important thing, siya ang ating pinag-uusapan. Siya ang ating pinunta. Itong Diyos na mapagmahal ang ating dapat i-worship. Yan ang reliyon. Yan ang relasyon. Yan ang tunay na pagsamba. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Father that we may offer free worship, true worship that is out of love, and present ourselves as His living temple. In a spirit of humility and of trust, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church continue to the path of purification and conversion so that in every way it becomes a community of praise and compassion, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May our religious and civil leaders see in Christ the power to save and the wisdom to lead, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May this May those preparing for baptism and reception into the Catholic Church be mindful that discipleship is a call to help others. May they find freedom in God's steadfast love, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May we respect our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. May we shun acts of lasciviousness, violence, and other indignities that harm the human person, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord continue to protect our mall patrons, viewers, the homebound, and their families, and hear all intentions and requests entrusted to our chapel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord give healing to the sick, comfort to the dying, conversion to sinners, and life to those experiencing darkness in their lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, cleanse our hearts of selfishness. Help us to love and serve you in faithfulness and in truth, and to show this by our concern for others. This we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen.
the difference that your sacrifice and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings and grant that we who beseech pardon for our sins may take care to forgive our neighbor as we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Santo, Santo, Santo. Did holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Sa krus mo at pagkabuhay, kami nagbos kong tunay. O Jesus, aming mga, ikas mo kami. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have heard us worthy you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with our Bishop Jose, and all the clergy. 
Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. inyong pagkaunawa sa dasal is to make God conform sa ating kagustuhan o sa ating will. Yan ang ayaw ni Jesus. Bakit? Hindi pinupwersa ang paghingi. Hindi binabayaran ang pag-ibig. Pag ang pag-ibig ay binayaran mo, that is not love. And so today we ask this prayer, Lord, na sana kami will conform to your kagustuhan, to your will. Thy will be done on earth. When we have said that prayer, God, who knows our needs, bago pa tayo lumapit sa Kanya, bibigay sa atin ang karapat-dapat. With the confidence of children, we now pray the prayer Jesus Himself taught us. from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. <laughs> Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Habang kami kumakain, there was something I noticed of the supposedly king, the, the father, the, the Duke of Braganza. 
Every time may ginagawa yung anak niya kasi siyempre nakatingin sa tatay, wala naman silang servants na naandun, kami-kami lang na mga pari. The father will always say, obrigado, which means thank you. Ang isang pusong marunong magpasalamat recognizes that a favor has been given. And knowing that this, our favors, our blessings are coming from the Father, a grateful heart will be a heart that is in peace. We share that peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, Father, brothers and sisters. away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the homebound joining us in this Mass, who are unable to receive Holy Communion, we invite you to pray with us this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Manalangin po tayo. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may one day come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. This season of Lent, we are called to grow more in faith and holiness through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. In line with this, we have a second collection to raise funds for Ale Kapwa 2024. The funds received shall be used to respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters who are victims of typhoons and to other natural and man-made disasters. The second collection will happen on six Sundays, and this started already the six Sundays of Lent, which started February 18 until March 24. Cardinal Advincula is encouraging everyone to be more generous by sharing our blessings to the poor and marginalized. Thank you. God bless.
Please rise. Ang dasal is not to ask God to conform to our wills. Ang tunay na dasal sa harapan ng isang amang mapagmahal is that we will conform to His will. Tama po si Archbishop Dong Labarias. Ngayon ang dasal ko hindi na ganito. Lord, ibigay mo sa akin ang gusto ko. Ito na lang. Ibigay mo sa akin, Lord, ang gusto mo. Sapagat ikaw nakakaalam, ikaw ang nagmamahal. Ang ganda nung awitin kanina, ikay mahalaga sa aking mga mata, sapagat mahal kita. Yan ang kanyang pangako. And so at this moment, let us pray in the name of Jesus. Isang pangalang ibig sabihin, ang Diyos ay nagliligtas. Ang Diyos ay hindi tayo pababayaan. Ang Diyos, tunay tayong mahal. And as we worship Him now, we say, You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our thank yous. You are worthy of our worship. Just say this word, Jesus, and claim it. Ikaw ang aming tagapagligtas. Turuan mo kaming mahalin ka sa pagkaitong ibig sabihin ng tunay na pananampalataya. Maliwala at magtiwala ng aming Diyos na kakaalam ng aming pangangailangan. Lord Jesus, as we come today in this Sunday celebration to worship you, may all that we do come from a heart that is loving and grateful. Come from a heart that does not feel entitled because we know ang lahat ng aming tinanggap iyong bigay at wala kaming karapatan. Maunawaan sana namin, Lord, uli na ang tunay na relihiyon ay isang relasyon sa isang ama na sa amin nagmamahal ang aming pagmamahal at papuri. Pinagdadasal po namin, Lord, ang lahat na mga nangangailangan ng iyong pagkunawa at pagmamahal. Ang mga may sakit, ang mga taong lumapit sa amin o pagumingi ng aming dasal, pagpalain niyo po sila at iparamdam na kayo po'y tunay na pwedeng asahan, pwedeng pagkatiwalaan. O Jesus, bring our prayers to the Father in heaven. We claim all of these if they be for your greater glory and for our salvation. Kayo, Lord, ang nakakaalam na kung ano ang dapat, pinauubayan namin sa iyo. Turuan mo lamang kami magmahal, umunawa sa kapwa ang nakakaalaman. This Father we ask, in the name of your Son, Jesus, Master and Lord, Lord, be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. Direct, O Lord, we pray the hearts of your faithful. And in your kindness, grant your servants this grace. That abiding in the love of you and their neighbor, they may fulfill the whole of your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Sunday po sa inyo lahat. Magandang awitin po to. Let's join the choir. Give thanks. Thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He has given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks. He has given Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, His Son. Now together and now, let the
that say I am strong. Let the weak, let the poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. The Lord has done. Oh! 